Hello everybody and good evening. This is Sword Dark Child and welcome back to another Let's Preplay Crash Bandicoot 2. And today we're kicking off with the end of Area 2 with the last level of the area. The Eel Deal. And it looks like we'll be getting our third uh, colored gem for this level. We're gonna need Aku for all of this, though. So that I can do all of this in one go. And that's the reason why they call this thing Eel Deal, because there are electric eels in the place that will electrocute you if you're in the water. Just need to be extremely careful for this level, and we should be fine. Oh boy. Come on, focus. Yay. Okay, two should be enough for this. And we're going this way, to the right first. Into a room that's full of very unstable TNT. But there is a sealed door here. So, dead end, right? Wrong! We can go right through here to find a secret passage. And look at that, a green gem. Now to backtrack. And unfortunately, backtracking is a lot harder than it is going forward. Yeah, I still got the green gem. We can move on. Nice! Oh, uh... Better grab this. Ow, ow. Now then, down we go for a bonus. Now then. Thirty boxes. Now then. Now, do I want to go right or left? I'll say left this time. Yeah, we 
kind of had to go left anyway, otherwise we would have missed the crystal if we didn't. I did on my first run of this game and had to redo this level. So, that's duly noted that to do left on this part of the level. second there, I thought I was going to die again there. And we don't want to miss these crates. Onward! And we'll break these. That'll take care of all of the, uh, dynamite crates. Ah, that's how you do it. Alright. Now then, break this. Yeah! We're three out of three for this one. Yeah! We got all but one gems for this room. Oh, what's he gotta say now? Going up. And are we going to be facing another familiar foe from Crash 1? Let's find out. Wait. Who the hell are these two? I don't remember them from Crash 1. No, these are new enemies that are only appeared in this game. The Kimono Brothers. And just like Ripperoo, they're pretty much simple. The bigger Komodo brother is going to be throwing his swords around like a circle as you avoid them, and then spitting his more slender brother right towards you, and you gotta avoid his attacks till he gets dizzy and then spin attack him right into him. You gotta do this like three times to beat him. That's three. Yeah, we're not going to be seeing them again. Not a chance. And we're in our third warp room. Yes, Cortex.
Okay, we're back. And we're in the beginning of the third warp room. And we shall be getting started with the first level called Plant Food. Oh, fudge. This is not going to be fun, folks. Not by a long shot. Oh god, I'm timed. I got myself timed. I gotta make a speed run through this level. Right now, I don't care if I get myself uh, blown to pieces. I'm speed running right through this. Oh, please let me make this. Nope, didn't make it. How many boxes did I break? Two? Oh boy. Oh well. I wasn't going to make that timer thing anyway. I feel like I'm forgetting something about one of the gems. What am I forgetting? What am I forgetting? I know it's vital for one of the colored gems. Eh, I'll worry about it when I get there. Well, hopefully we'll get through this with one of the gems. How many crates do I need to break for this level? And we'll grab this this time. And we're gonna attack you. Attack you, attack you, and you. Now let's move. I missed! One more time, Crash. There we go, that's more like it. And there goes Aku. 
And at least we got one of the gems. So two out of three ain't bad. <sighs> so far, so good. I can't read that lot. What is that, sewer or later? Yeah, sewer or later. Here we go. Which means we're gonna have to deal with more of those electric eels, aren't we? Probably. Oh, whoa, hello! What a scream. Oh look, electric eels. Well, that was quite shocking. Not really. Thought I could make it onto that platform, but I didn't. That hardly sounds like something you would play out of a horror film for a screen. Yes! Oh god, that was too close. Alright, just gotta get by here and then we're at the checkpoint. And from the looks of this, we're probably not gonna get a uh, gem here. We need a yellow gem for this, so time to speed run. with as many boxes as we can collect. I don't even remember what stage I get the yellow gem on. But something tells me I'm not gonna like how I'm gonna have to get it. Oh man. Be right back, folks. Okay, finally got them taken care of. Now, let's get on with this. And that thing's going way too fast for us to slide under, so we're gonna need this little minion here to go under. Like, three times. Whoa, whoa. The fudge? I didn't even touch the water. Now that was a waste of an Aku Aku. But we'll be getting them again shortly. And how are you knocking those things out one propeller blade at a time? And another thing for a yellow gem? What, was it like a shortcut or something? Hmm. 
fork in the road. Let's explore a bit and go left. I mean right. Before going any further, what's this way? Oh, there's the crystal. And it's a dead end there. Okay, so we have to go through here anyway. Alright. Let's get a move on, Crash. How that? I pressed the fucking... Oh, this is so stupid for how this is working. The first time I get shocked, I wasn't even touching the water. Second time, I couldn't get out of the water. Heard of dumb ways to die, but that is ridiculous. So I'll meet you back after I get those boxes again. Okay, I got the gem. I mean the uh, crystal, and got those remaining boxes. So fuck. Be right back, folks. Okay, without wasting any more time, let's get out of here. Ah, and we got the uh, gem for the boxes. Good. And I'm guessing for the other one, we were going to need a yellow gem for that one. Where do we get that one? I have a feeling it might be one of the next levels. Am I correct? Nope, 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 wait. Seriously, Coco, how are you doing that? And I was wrong. It was the first level the whole time. That timer was the thing for the gem. Oh my god. We could have gotten two color gems in one episode. That one I'm gonna get off screen, because if I do it now, I'm gonna get frustrated and be very close to smashing my thing to pieces, and I don't want to do that. So, we're going to move on and go through this level. Bear down. Why aren't they calling this that? Are we riding that polar bear again? Yup, looks like it. Really, Crash? You have to ride on that polar bear again. You're gonna regret this later. I know you are. It's called karma. And why are you holding that polar bear while you're up? Uh, you know what? No, I'm not gonna question it. Let's just get through this as fast as we can while trying to get every box. That didn't happen the first time. Oh boy. I'm going to work off my lives off screen too.
Oh yeah, this time we make it. Let's hope I get every box too. Alright, up until the first checkpoint we were good and we didn't get the things. There we go, that's more like it. What? Am I supposed to go under? Let's try that. Don't jump. Okay, jump for the first one, and let's see. Don't jump for the second one. Yep. Durr. I feel stupid. Okay, third leg. Here we go. Hopefully I get every box here. <sighs> really? You really have to carry that polar bear with you as you become an angel? I sincerely doubt you do. Though who am I to question him? Okay, first they jump, then... <sighs> okay, first one's jump, then keep running. Alright. We've got this. I hope. Yes! <laughs> we got every gym! I mean, box! And backwards. Secret! And it's for air crash. We've already seen air crash. So, I will be showing this next time for this uh, secret of, of level 2, or is it 7? Whatever level it is, I'll be showing the secret for this level next time on Let's Replay Crash Bandicoot 2. This is Sword Darkchild, signing off. Have a good evening, folks.